Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on Crypto. I hope you're having a great day. So Binance re-enters the bidding war to get to gain the assets of Voyager and they won. One billion dollars later, plus a twenty million dollar um, offset or something like that, and they've now they're about to acquire the assets for Voyager Digital. That's not a savior kind of role. That is a business decision. It's a strategic business decision. No matter what money they think they're going to be able to give back or anything else, there are tremendous assets in Voyager. Go do some research on that. And then you'll understand why I'm sitting back and I'm going, why is everybody throwing FUD around about Binance? And again, I am not a fan of centralized exchanges. I use that. I, I believe they have a purpose, but I hold my the bulk of my coin in a non-custodial wallet, some type of non-custodial wallet. Now, next up is SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce. Excuse me, as I fix things, um, is saying, "Listen, the SEC's use of the Howey rule with regard to, or the Howey t the Howey test with regard to crypto, is a bit lacking." And she's right, because she's saying there are two parts to how the SEC is using it. The first is you have the general, you have the ICO, but that's not it. It's the promise that we're going to do something that will then build the value in the coin that we said. So this is the security part. This is the commodity part, or at least not a security part, separate and distinct. So. She's kind of putting it out there that, you know, SEC could be couldn't have this all wrong. Not shocking coming from Hester Pierce, who is also known as Crypto Mom. Um, Peck Shield pointed out that there is a lot of money, a lot of digital assets being maneuvered by Genesis and most likely maneuvered to be sold. Right. It's actually tied to Poloniex and Genesis. So we'll see how much money is going to be you know, gain from those sales, because I'm pretty sure those sales are going to happen. I'm pretty sure Genesis needs to do it. And if you recall, Genesis is owned by DCG. Something else that I wanted you to realize is if you are holding on to Doge, you had better be in it for the long haul, because I just don't see anything now. Again, there might be use cases for it. There might be places where it's being leveraged. But the number one use case as of late has been any kind of word, which is why everybody waits upon bated breath for the great Elon to speak about it. Well, I got out, was able to do a little bit better than break even, basically, you know, when I say a little bit better, I mean like maybe a dollar, but whatever. I was able to break even and it went up after that. And a couple of my friends were like, ha ha, it went up. And I was like, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, went up. You keep thinking that. I said, I think it's going to go down. And guess what? It's, a, it's around seven cents. This is what I'm talking about. All right. I want to invest in projects that have some kind of a future, some kind of utility, some kind of willingness by the people to actually use it and not waiting upon bated breath by some guy who is not a genius. Go do some research on what he has done, what he created. He didn't create PayPal. His company was bought out by PayPal. There's a difference. He didn't create PayPal, right? You know, a lot of things that he's been getting, being given credit for creating that he didn't. He bought into it, right? Or it fell in his lap or he's set up by somebody to take it over, whatever. But he's never, he hasn't, I haven't seen anything that he's actually built. And before you say tes Tesla, that's not the one either. Go do your research. So if you're holding on the Doge, you better hope that, you know, something else kicks up. I'm not against Doge. I would like to see it have a real utility. I'm just not seeing it now. What's the next batter up? Sherrod Brown. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his, pro his name properly, but Senator Brown. <sighs> from Ohio, and from what I can see, he's, he's the, the chairman of, what is it, the financial Com committee or something like that. Um, actually, I can tell you what he is. Let's see. Ohio, boom, 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 boom. The U.S. Banking Committee Chairman. If you ask me, this guy is a, is a career politician, right? Background in public affairs, done a lot of good. 
done a lot of mistakes, and I think this is one that lands in the mistakes column. Because why would you open up your freaking mouth and say crypto needs to be banned, but banning it might push it offshore? How about you go back, look at Nigeria, and look what happened there? They tried to ban crypto. You want to know what happened when they tried to ban crypto? When they ordered all the banks to ditch all of the crypto-related accounts? Crypto usage went up 16%. October 2021, they launched their own CBDC. They only had $10 million in transactions, only by 270,000 people. You want to know what happened to crypto? Picked up by 26%. There's a lesson there, so much of a lesson that they are actually about to pass a bill that will recognize crypto as investment assets. Stop there. If you can't stop the train, figure out how to get on and guide it from inside. Figure out how to put up guardrails. But if you're dumb enough to think that you're actually going to stop crypto, something that is borderless. Ah, dude, I expect more from you. Are you hanging out with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren too much? Don't do that. Both of you need to take a step back and take a more pragmatic approach and face the reality of what crypto is and what it can be. Stop listening to people that are saying, oh, Blockchain is good. Crypto is bad. Nuh-uh. They're separate but together. Okay? And everybody that's telling you that are probably the same people that say, oh, there's nothing wrong with the banking systems. But yet you go after them all the time. Are you actually running around saying that the banking system must also be banned? No, you're not. That's not what's going on. So... Take a more pragmatic approach. Be mindful of your words, lest you sound like an idiot. And I know you're not. I know you're not. But that kind of a comment is not the right one to make. What's next on the on the on the basis, right? You have the, you have senators Warren, Brown, and others on this side of the coin. Crypto's bad, crypto's bad, blockchain bad, blah. And then you have people on the other side saying, wait, whoa, whoa, let, how about we get crypto right? And maybe that can be a really good thing. You're always talking about financial reform, and here's something that can press that reform. Okay? Something that we should be paying attention to in the United States. Goldman Sachs just came out with a freaking report that says that China and India will surpass the United States economy by 2075. And some of you are sitting there going, that's, that's, you know, that's years away. It's over 50 years away. 52, a few days. In a global economy, that means nothing. 50 years is a blip. Here's something to really consider. As we're looking at the, that Goldman Sachs report, what I really started thinking about was, at what point does the do we stop looking at everything as a country's economy and how it might be better than another country's economy? I don't think that equation played into or accounts for the impact of crypto in that space. That is what we should be paying attention to. The world is small. It's the biggest, smallest thing in the world. Is the world, actually. We should be paying attention to that. That's what we should be doing. Normally, I'd go through the numbers right here. I'm not going to bother because we're moving sideways and a little bit down, actually. But these are the things that we should be paying, for, paying attention to because this is what's going to actually make us go in a good direction or a bad one. Do your own research. Stop listening to the FUD. Read, read, read. Anyway, this is Eddie J on Crypto. Hope you have a great day, and I hope this helps. Have a good one. Bye-bye.